a motorcycle that flies, a bike that drives itself, wheels that turn into jet engines. These aren't concepts, they're real. Some you can buy right now, and a couple, borderline illegal. In the next 13 minutes, you'll see tech that's rewriting what's possible on two wheels. Let's go. Invention number one, hover bike. We're starting with something that shouldn't exist, the Hoversurf hover bike, a Russian-built flying motorcycle that Dubai police are actually testing right now. Four, massive propellers lift a single rider, 16 feet in the air at 60 miles per hour. Flight time, a terrifying 10 to 15 minutes per charge. Here's the insane part. Dubai signed a deal in 2018 to test these for emergency response. Imagine a cop flying over gridlock traffic to reach you in minutes instead of hours. In some regions, it's classified as an ultralight, which means minimal licensing. But here's the problem. One of these crashed in Dubai back in 2020. Pilot was at 100 feet when the barometer failed. He walked away, but it spooked regulators hard. They still don't know what to do with these things. You can reserve one for around $150,000. The question isn't can you, it's should you? Keep watching because number seven will actually terrify you. Invention number two, Bridgestone airless tires. Flat tires cause thousands of crashes every year. Bridgestone just killed the problem entirely. These aren't self-healing, they're airless. No air means flats are physically impossible. The tire uses a web of thermoplastic resin spokes instead of air pressure. Stab them, shoot them, drive over a bed of nails, nothing happens. The military tested these in Afghanistan with Humvees, zero flats over the worst terrain imaginable. Now they've adapted it for motorcycles, especially adventure bikes. They've been tested through deserts, over rocks, across everything you can throw at them. The catch? About $800 per tire, and they only last 6,000 miles before the resin breaks down. The ride feel is also slightly different. Not bad, just different. But if you're crossing a continent or riding through war zones, that peace of mind is priceless. When the nearest help is 200 miles away, an airless tire isn't luxury, it's survival. Those are tough. But BMW built something that breaks physics. Invention number three, BMW self-balancing. Picture, a 500-pound bike, that can't fall over. BMW built it in 2016. They rolled out this concept, the Vision Next 100, that just stands there. No kickstand, no rider, nothing holding it up. It looks impossible. Here's the wild part. It doesn't use gyroscopes like everyone thinks. It uses self-steering. Tiny, lightning-fast adjustments to the front wheel create balance, the same way you unconsciously steer when riding slow. The bike measures its angle thousands of times per second and makes micro-corrections faster than you can blink, basically riding itself while standing still. Why does this matter? About 40% of motorcycle accidents happen at low speeds. Parking lots, stop signs, driveways, places where the bike tips because you're moving too slow. This tech could wipe out that entire category of accidents. BMW hasn't released it yet. It's complex and expensive to manufacture, but Honda's got similar prototypes working. This is coming probably by 2027, never dropping your bike again. That's the promise. Self-balancing is crazy, but what if the bike could actually ride itself? Invention number four, Damon Hypersport. Most bikes make you choose, comfort or speed. The Damon Hypersport says screw that, have both. It's called shift. Hit a button and the bars, pegs, seat and windscreen physically move. Two, seconds. The whole bike reconfigures. Commuting, everything goes upright and relaxed. Highway, drops into full sport position. While, you're riding. But the real game changer is co-pilot. 360 degree radar and cameras watching everything around you car drifting into your lane, the bars vibrate on that side. Bike in your blind spot, LEDs flash warnings, it's constantly scanning for threats you might miss. Damon says riders avoid way more accidents with this thing. And honestly, it makes sense. Extra seconds of warning can save your life. Specs? Fully electric, up to 200 miles per charge, 200 miles per hour top speed, zero to 60 in under three seconds. Price starts at 25,000. The full 200 mile per hour version is 40,000. They're targeting production for 2026 after securing funding. Over a hundred million in pre-orders waiting. If they actually deliver, this changes the whole game for electric bikes. But if you think that's high tech, AI is about to take full control. Invention number five, Autonomous motorcycles, a motorcycle, no rider, 
leaning into corners, accelerating, braking, all on its own. Both BMW and Honda have bikes that ride themselves. Actually ride, no remote control, just artificial intelligence. Here's why this is insane. Teaching AI to ride is way harder than self-driving cars. Cars have four wheels and stay flat. Bikes need to lean dynamically while balancing on two wheels. BMW showed their riderless R1200 GS in 2018, carving through a test course with no body on it. Honda went further. They studied their MotoGP champions, analyzed every input, and fed it all into neural networks. The result? These things can handle technical tracks at speeds that rival pro riders, and they haven't crashed once. Why build this? Three reasons. One, summoning. Your bike rides itself out of the garage to meet you. Two, training. New riders watch the AI nail perfect technique, then try to copy it. Three, testing. Push bikes to the absolute limit without risking test riders. The problem? No country allows riderless bikes on public roads yet. The tech works perfectly. Laws just haven't caught up. If that freaks you out, number six will really mess with your head. Invention number six, lit motors, C1. What if you got motorcycle efficiency and car safety in one vehicle that can't tip over? The Lit Motors C1 is a fully enclosed two-wheeler with a fighter jet canopy, bucket seats, climate control. But the magic is invisible. Two massive gyroscopes spinning at 12,000 RPM inside create so much force that tipping is physically impossible. They literally ram this thing with other vehicles. It took the hit and stayed vertical. Crash tests showed it's safer than most small cars. Why? Normal bikes throw you off in a crash. This keeps you inside a protective cage with crumple zones. Performance, electric, zero to 60 in six seconds, 120 top speed, 200 mile range. Parks in motorcycle spots, but protects you from rain, cold, and accidents. Company raised over six million in the early 2010s, built working prototypes, then went dark in 2017. Plot twist, they relaunched in 2025, targeting production by 2029. And get this, patent records show Apple bought similar gyrotech, fueling rumors they're building something like this. If people actually buy these, city cars are done. That's still being developed, but the next one is working in the field right now. Invention number seven, UBCO 2x2. Most electric bikes try to be fast. This one just tries to work. The UBCO 2x2, all-wheel drive electric utility bike with motors in both wheels. 2,000 watts combined. Doesn't sound like much until you see what it does. Climbs 45 degree slopes, fords 18 inches of water, 75 mile range. Tows 440 pounds while carrying a 265 pound rider. Seven grand. New Zealand farmers use these to herd sheep across brutal terrain. They're quieter than ATVs, so livestock don't freak out. Australian rangers patrol with them. No engine noise means wildlife stays calm. But here's where it gets serious. Rural paramedics are adopting these. Where roads don't exist or they're completely destroyed, these bikes get to patients way faster than any ambulance could. Medical gear mounts right on the racks. Best part? In most places, it's legally just a bike. No motorcycle license, no registration, nothing. This isn't sexy, won't win design awards, but it's saving lives in places traditional vehicles can't reach. This is what utility vehicles look like now. That's practical. Number eight is absolute insanity. Invention number eight, Lazarus LMV 496. The hover bike was nuts. This is on another level. The Lazarus LMV 496, a French motorcycle that transforms into a hovering aircraft. On the road, electric motor, serious performance. But here's where your brain breaks. Hit a button. The four wheels rotate 90 degrees and become jet turbines. The bike lifts off the ground. Each wheel has a miniature kerosene-powered jet engine inside. Flight mode activates, hydraulics rotate everything horizontal, turbines fire, and it hovers. Flight time? About 10 minutes max. But it works. Company released footage in 2020 showing this thing hovering and moving sideways through the air. Price? $560,000. Only five ever built. Three sold to collectors. One's in a museum. The last one's reportedly still available. This isn't practical. It's proof of concept. Lazarus built this to show what hybrid propulsion can do. Word is, military contractors are looking at this tech for spy bikes. Will this ever be on the streets? Hell no. But it proves flying bikes aren't science fiction anymore. That's for show. Sure.
Number nine was designed to kill. Invention number nine, Silent Hawk. Special forces have a problem. Move faster than walking, quieter than breathing. DARPA funded the solution. The Silent Hawk hybrid motorcycle built for military ops runs on electric and gas. In electric mode, it makes zero noise. You can't hear it from 30 feet away, even in dead silence. 170 mile range combining both power systems. 55 miles per hour in silent mode. 300 pounds of gear capacity. Here's how gas engine charges the batteries. Batteries power hub motors. Need speed and range? Run the gas. Need stealth? Pure electric. The military tested these around 2015. What happened? Classified. But they clearly liked what they saw, because orders followed. Now there's talk of civilian versions. Hunters want them for approaching games silently. Off-roaders want them for noise-restricted areas. Overlanders want them for camping, without disturbing anyone. Civilian version, rumored for 2026, probably around 15,000. Won't have military-grade components, but keeps the hybrid stealth system. Power doesn't always need to be loud, but if you want powerful and silent and futuristic, this is it. Invention number 10, Verge TS. This bike breaks every rule about how motorcycles work. No chain, no belt, no shaft, no hub. The motor is the wheel, the Verge TS from Finland. Rim motor technology. The entire rear wheel is one giant electric motor. Stator mounts to the swing arm. Rotor is the wheel itself. Most direct power transfer possible. Performance, 150 horses, 124 miles per hour electronically limited, zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. But here's what makes it next gen over-the-air software updates, just like a Tesla. The company keeps tweaking performance, battery life, everything. Through downloads, your bike literally improves over time. The design is absolutely mental. Looks like it rode straight out of a sci-fi movie. No visible motor, no chain, just this impossible wheel, spinning inside another wheel. People stop and stare. Beyond looks, there are real advantages. Lower center of gravity, way less maintenance, shorter, lighter frame, 30,000. Deliveries started in 2023 to Europe and North America. 200 mile range, charges to 80% in under an hour. Every major manufacturer is watching this. The tech works. They just need to figure out how to make it cheaper. That reinvents the wheel, but this reinvents safety itself. Invention number 11, Foresight MK1S. This helmet doesn't just protect you in a crash, it tries to stop the crash from happening. The Foresight MK1S looks like a normal DOT helmet. Inside, sophisticated computer system. Built-in cameras record 1080p front and rear, perfect for insurance or just capturing rides. Heads-up display projects speed, navigation, warnings, directly into your vision without blocking the road. But the AI is where it gets real. Helmet connects to your bike via Bluetooth, gets sensor data, monitors everything around you. Spots a threat, it warns you. Sound in your ears, lights in your vision. Car drifting into your lane, immediate alert. Hard braking ahead, you know before you see brake lights. Riders say they dodge way more accidents with this thing. Voice controls, answer calls, change music, adjust navigation. Hands never leave the bars. Crash detection. If you go down hard, it auto alerts your emergency contacts with GPS location. 800 bucks, eight hour battery, fully DOT and ECE certified. Over 15,000 sold first year. Users say going back to regular helmets feels like riding blind. This is where helmets are going. Not just passive protection, active accident prevention, and finally, the absolute pinnacle of what's possible. Invention number 12, Arc Vector. British company Arc didn't just build an electric superbike. They built one to end the gas versus electric argument forever. $117,000. You get 133 horses, 0 to 60 in 2.7 seconds. Tops out at 124 miles per hour, limited for safety. But the real innovation isn't the motor. The entire frame is carbon fiber, not panels. The actual structure, total weight, 485 pounds. Lighter than most gas bikes despite carrying a 400 pound battery. Battery tech licensed from Formula E Racing. Zero to 80% in 40 minutes. 120 mile range at highway speed. Here's the crazy part. The battery's designed to last 300,000 miles before it even starts degrading. Instead of gauges, it pairs with the Zenith helmet that projects everything onto your visor. Speed, range, power, 
Riding modes, connected to a smart jacket that taps your shoulder if a car enters your blind spot. The system monitors your vitals, heart rate, fatigue, the tension span. Getting tired or distracted, it suggests brakes. Extreme situations, it actually limits power to stop you from making fatal mistakes while exhausted. They're only making $399, EVER, each one custom built for whoever's rich enough to buy it. This proves electric bikes aren't compromises, they're different, and in a lot of ways, they're better. From bikes that fly, to wheels that are the motor, to helmets with AI watching your back, motorcycles are getting wilder, not boring. These aren't concepts. People are testing these, riding these, right now. Some will change the world, some will flop hard, but they all prove the future of motorcycling is absolutely insane. So here's my question. If you could only pick one of these, which would it be? The safety of the C1, the stealth of the Silent Hawk, the raw power of the Arc Vector, Drop your answer in the comments. I genuinely want to know what you'd actually spend money on. And if you made it this far, you're clearly obsessed with this stuff. Subscribe because I've got more videos coming on electric bikes, racing tech, and machines that push the absolute limits. Thanks for watching. Ride safe.